Hi, right, I'm Nagman Sari and in this video I'm going to show you how you can get the state of player from the server in Game Maker Studio. So without any further ado, let's begin. You remember from last video what we have done. In create event, we create a some variable like is this our player? So if this is our player, we get the input check and after that we send that player stats and those player inputs to our server, right? And if it's not our player, if this instance of our player is not our player, we get the player stats, right? So let's just write this get player stats. But before doing that, because this is our player, the player number in here, in here we should change it to our global player number, right? So we say player number is equal global dot player number. And if it's not our player, it has its own player number, right? So it's for making sure that it knows the player number of this that is our object player that is that we are playing with, okay? Is our global dot player number, okay? And if it's not our player, let's just write this get player stats, right? First of all, I'm gonna go to obj global in here. Where is it? Okay. In this global, I wanna create another message type in here because we have one for set player stat and we need another one for getting player stats, right? So we have it here. Let's just add it to our server as well. The get host is number four and the player stat, get player stat is number five. Just you should know that these numbers is important. This get player stat is number five. And in here, because we write it this way, this get player stat is number five as well. This is zero, this is one, this is two, three, four, and five. Okay, just don't forget to have that. So now in our server, we should create a function for that. And let's just first copy one of these in a state machine in our server. And the message type is get player stat. And I wanna run this function, get player stat, right? and let's just know create this function copy its name let's just go down and in here say function the name of the function is get player stats and the parameters is this data and response info or r info right know that we have this function first of all like always let's just console like something to see if this get player stat is running at all or not so we say we are in get player stat function and no let's just go to our game maker in our get player stat send something to tell the server that we need to we need to get the player stat right so like always we say data is equal ds map create and let's just add some value to it and we can do it with this ds map add we want to add to data the key first of all i want to send the host number so i say host number this is the key the host number that we are in is global dot host number right next thing that we want to add is the player number okay so let's just add that as well player number is this time is player number not the global player number okay and we get that from this create in here player number right and know that we have this we can send it so we can say send map over udp first thing is the ip right now it is local next one is port and next one is size so for example 300 the map that we want to send is data and the type is msg type dot get player stat right and what we need in return we need player stats right so let's just create a some place for that right so in here i want to add another thing and i want to call it player stats okay and at default, I want to put zero or no one in here. No one is like minus four, okay? So we can use this host number and player number to get the, the player stat of the player number on that host number. And we set it in this player stat and we give it back to the game maker project okay so no everything is okay in here and if we go to our server in here what we should do what we should do we should say data dot and in here we want to send player stat so let's just use this key in here and we say player is that is equal hosts okay the host number is data dot let's just copy and paste it from here the host number is this and the player number so let's just again say data dot and copy and paste it from here player number just remember always copy and paste don't write it down because it gives us give you an error that you can't fix and with just that we send we set the player stat to that player stat okay so now we can send back that data so we say server or we can just copy and paste this okay so with this we send back that get player stats right you can see it it's easy right 
So now everything is okay with server. Let's just run it. Just remember to save it first. Now that we run it, we in here, let's just go to create event and change this is this or player to false. This player can be or player or other others that join this host player, right? So this time we 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 change the type of this player with this is this or player or not, right? Because now we set it to false in a step event instead of doing all of that checking inputs and sending the player stat, it will get the player stat, right? And if you run our game now, let's just host the game. And in here, if you stop our server right now, you can see we are in get player stat and we send back those data to our game maker. So let's just get that in our game maker in here. So for that, we should add an event for async networking, right? So in this async networking, I just want to copy and paste some code from others um, in here so let's just do it from here async networking and what i want to copy i want to copy it till here okay or or here right so let's just copy all of this code and paste it for our object player in here we need two of these to be closed one of them for this if and one of them for this if and everything should be fine first of all the message type the message type is get player stat right and we don't need this host number because we have it right first of all i want to get the player number okay if this is our player number i want to call that variable pn for example for player number because we have that player number before so pn and i want to get the player number so let's just copy and paste it from here this player number this key is important you always copy and paste this key so we need the player number and we store it in pn and after that we check if the pn is equal to player number okay this player number that we set in here okay if this is equal to this get all of that key left key right key down key shift key shoot and all of that and set it and after that it will work fine with this movement apply gravity and all of these animations okay it will work fine so for that we say key left for example key left is equal instead of checking the input check in here from the keyboard because this is not our player right we get the states all of these key left key right key down from the server right now okay so in here we can say ds map find value from this response we want to get the key we want to get the key left right and we should do this for all of those variables that we have in our server and you remember it from last video key left key right key down key jump key shift key shoot x and y and player number we can get all of that so let's just copy and paste it several times we need key right we get it from server like this what else we need key down so let's just copy and paste key down we need key down we need key jump key jump we need key shift key shift we need key shoot whenever it's shoot in all instance of game get in our game it should shoot right what else we need we need x and y so x of our player no it should get it from the server okay so let's just paste it for our y as well y is equal to y but what i did forget to add to here we don't we can't get it from the response we should get it from player stats right so for that let's just in here create a variable and i want to call it player stat like this is equal ds map find value and from this response i want to get the player stat you remember it in a step in get player stat in here we want we get it from we set it in our server let me show you in here into this player stat so all the player stat is the is in this player stat pin here so let's just copy it and go to this async network in here and we want to find that in here okay so with this now let's just change this response to player stat okay now it should be okay so let me explain it one more time whatever that is coming to our game maker is this message id and we decode it and we set it in this response variable and in this response we get we check the type of that and if it's get player stats and it will go to this if and it will get the player stat and you know that this player stat is a map and we check the player number in this player stat if it is equal to our player number we will get all of those stats like key left key right key down and x and y and all of that right and we set it in here now in a step function you know that it's not our player so it will get all of those inputs in here from this get player stats in here okay so it will get it and everything should work fine so let's just run our game again run our server again as well 
host the game and let's just go to our game maker and you can see we get the players that he left zero he right zero and all of that we get it correctly at default because we host the game and we didn't send any information any state of our player to um, our server all of these key left key right and key down all of them is zero right now but in the next video i will show you how you can create the instance of player to get all of this data correctly and you can see how easy it will work right so our player is is ready to be created right so let me explain it one more time if this is our player it will check the inputs of our keyboard right if it's not our player it will get the player stats okay and in movement you remember if you watch my video about platformer game it will just change the x and y it has horizontal speed vertical speed and all of that that you have in all of your games right it's in, the important thing is this movement and the all of this animation where it should should get the input data if it's our player it will get it from keyboard and if it's not our player it will get it from the server i hope you get the idea if you have any question please leave it in comment it's my honor to have you at the end of this video please if you want to help me hit that like button thank you very much for watching bye